up, my dudes? It's Demi, and I am back at Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival 2022. I did a full tour of the festival. I will link it for you here and put it in the description below. I showed you every booth, all the activities, all the entertainment, all the merchandise, and today we are tackling the food crawl, the food scavenger hunt, Emile's Fromage Montage. This is a very dairy and cheese friendly scavenger hunt here. It's located in the back of your festival passport. You can pick one of these up in the front of the park. They're kind of like all over the place at this point now. And you're gonna see these circles here and you're going to get stamps in these circles. And once you get five stamps, you get a prize. You don't have to do this all in one day. You can come back. You can do this multiple times and come and get multiple prizes. The prize is a snack, but something to also take home with. So I'm gonna go over everything because it has changed a little bit this year and I'm super excited. So let's get into it. Let's get into our cheese adventure and let's go get into some hijinks. So as I said, this year is a little bit different. Uh, they have added a bunch of new options to this food crawl. And I just want you to be very clear about this. You don't have to get one of each. and You didn't have to ever. You can literally get five passion fruit cheesecakes. You can get like two Canadian cheese soups and like three griddle cheeses. It doesn't matter. As long as you get five of anything, then you can get your prize but they added a bunch of new options here there are a few from last year that are the same um, and there's one booth that won't open until august 15th and i will show you that as well and we're going to try all of the new stuff and i'm really excited about it so let's go try a bunch of cheese and hopefully be fine after all the cheese <laughs> Starting in Canada for the very famous and very hot in temperature cheddar cheese soup made famous by the restaurant in Canada, La Cellier Steakhouse. I mean, who doesn't want to eat really hot cheese soup in the middle of an Orlando summer? Let's do it. Got my first stamp. Here it is, that famous Canadian cheddar cheese and bacon soup with a pretzel bun. It looks okay you know it's fine i actually made this when i first started this channel and i can link you the recipe right here so you can make it at home um and uh i liked my version so i haven't had this in a really long time let's give it a try yay soup in july in orlando it's so good though <laughs> like i'm not mad about it anymore once it's there it's so tasty let me get with this pretzel bun Mm. All right, it's tasty. It's very rich, very thick, but really good flavor. It's salty, creamy, cheesy, and warm. But like, it's so good. It's not like the greatest thing in the world. People really love this. And I'm a cheese person. And I think this is very, very good. Um, but I don't think it's like the greatest thing that a lot of people make it out to be. I still think it's very tasty. But it's not like so amazing that like the way I've heard other people describe it. But it's still very tasty. But you are still eating soup in the summer. You know, I would say maybe let it cool a little bit. And it's, right now it's like lukewarm, so it's more manageable. And I think you'll I think you'll enjoy it. It's it's something it's a very famous like Epcot treat so like it's it's something like if you want to like try something like famous to this park it's very cool to, to try for your pick for this entire you know thing we're doing here so overall not bad just wish it was uh not so hot while i ate this in between morocco and france is the brazil booth if you saw the full festival tour, we did get the feijoada, the crispy pork belly, but for this video, we are getting the pau de queijo, which is Brazilian cheese bread, and this is actually a new menu item as well. Here is the pau de queijo, they are cheese buns. They're warm, they're kind of like soft here. See how it kind of like indents itself there? I'm really excited to try this, let's open it up. Oh my gosh, it is very cheesy. That is the inside. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that's great. Mmm, melted cheese and bread. It's very simple. It's literally just 
literally just melted cheese really baked well inside the bread but the cheese has really good flavor I can't like distinct what kind of cheese it is honestly but it's not like very sharp it's very light but it has like saltiness to it it it's very very nice very cheesy kind of like pulls apart in your mouth very surprisingly like delicious I thought it was gonna be kind of like very plain but the bun is also nice and crispy on the top so it gives it a little bit of texture I like this a lot it's definitely very like thick and heavy though I will say but overall I'm pretty happy with it to the left of Morocco is the grease booth. The grease booth is back on the fromage montage this year with that griddled cheese with pistachio and honey once again. I remember really enjoying this last year. This is also gluten free. It's really just like a very good piece of cheese with the good flavors of that pistachio and honey coming together really well in there. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. This is something that I would normally eat on the regular as well. I order a lot of Greek food. I eat a lot of Greek food. Maybe because I'm half Greek. I don't know. It's probably just because I really like Greek food. Uh, I, I think if you're looking for like a really interesting, like good piece of cheese cheese, this is something that you should definitely get made it to germany here at germany you can get the i and i always like every year every year you tr every year they make me try to say this word and i apologize every time i really am trying i really am trying it's pasta gratin with ham cheese and onions and it's delicious it's very very good it's definitely on my top list from last year i thought it was very cheesy and i love the pasta within it i've made this at home before i can link that recipe for you for right here you can make it at home as well i think it's very good i think if you're like it, looking for like a classic um fromage dish this is definitely one to consider directly next to the germany booth is the alps booth and here at the alps booth all of this is a part of the fromage montage. It's that warm raclette Swiss cheese where they literally carve it off of the block. And the bottom one is the brand new one that they're offering with the uh, candied pecans, honey, and cranberry toast. Uh, I'm very excited. I'm gonna get two different kinds so we can kind of compare and contrast. We're gonna get like a savory one. We're gonna get the ones with baby potatoes and the sweet one, the new one. Let's do it. I was trying so hard to see the cut of the cheese off of the block, but like it was a really bad angle. I apologize I couldn't get it, but let's take a look at the plates. Here they are. They smell so good. It is a very potent cheese here. So here is the first one, the one that they had last year with the potatoes and the pickles. And then we have the new one with the walnuts and the dates and the uh, bread. It looks very interesting i'm curious to see how they kind of go together well not go together but like how they you know how they differ let's give it a try all right let's try the original first listen that's so good it's just like melty yummy flavorful cheese i'm not the biggest fan of the potato but i love that pickle with it it makes it have like good like sourness and crunch to it that is delicious I mean I'm just such a fan of this booth I love it it's so delicious um, I, I like the tang from that um, I don't know if I'm I don't know like I, I like kind of how it's like the salty and tang so now I'm curious to see how it's gonna be like you know salty sweet no it's really not salty it's really more like you know Swiss is more not salty but like uh, what's the word stinky funky I don't know but in all the right ways possible so I'm curious to see how that's gonna pair with uh, sweet flavors because with the sour that's delicious all right I loaded everything up and it all fell I saw it happen I saw it happen and I know round two I'm gonna do it much faster now here's the thing this bread with the all the stuff in it, 
that's delicious, far superior than just like the regular bread that comes with it. And it makes a huge difference with this. And I think that is so good with the cheese. I really like the date with the cheese. I'm actually pleasantly surprised of how good this is all together. I really, it's not like, oh, like overly sweet. I thought it was gonna be like really, really sweet. I don't know why, uh, but it's not. Actually, it goes extremely well together. Compliments everything really well. This is really nice. It's toasted, crunchy. The Alps band is playing right now, so we are vibing while eating Alps food, you know? Like this, this is a whole vibe right now. This is delicious. Um, I think personally, as much as I love the pickle with it, this is definitely the one I would go for if you're deciding between um, some of the versions here at the Alps. Um, that's why I wanted to do it this way because there's so many options, right? Which one are you gonna get for your fromage? Like there's, you know, so if you if you more if you like more of like a savory option, then go for the pickle. If you like more of a sweet, then this is definitely for you. But uh, I, I think overall this is the better uh, value and the better like option overall. But I do like that pickle with it, but this is definitely better. Across from Test Track is the Mac and Eats booth. And unfortunately this booth will not be open until August 15th, but this whole menu is on the fromage montage. And here you can get traditional mac and cheese with herb panko for $5. You can get cowboy mac and cheese with smoked pork belly, brisket burnt ends, pickle, peppers, onion straws, and barbecue aioli for $6.25. And you can get the chili cheese macaroni and cheese with sour cream and cheddar cheese for $5.50. All sounds really good. Um, I, you know, I'm sad that I can't get this now for this, but yeah, if you come after August 15th, this can be a part of your fromage montage. My favorite cheesy item has returned to this cheese crawl and it is the corned beef from Flavors of Fire with the chips, the cheese sauce, and those cheese curds. It is so warm and cheesy and the flavors work so well together. The corned beef is nice and salty and the cheese curd is so warm and just gooey. Putting it all together on top of the chip makes everything so delicious with all the different textures and different flavors. It is the best way to eat it. Highly recommend getting this if you're doing this cheese crawl. On the bridge right before China is the India booth and we have a new menu item that is also a part of the fromage and it is the crispy paneer with mango curry ketchup for $5. They said it's kind of like an Indian mozzarella stick so I am very excited to try it. Okay, here is that crispy paneer. It looks really good. These are like really thick blocks of like fried cheese. You can smell those like Indian spices on there. Um, very curious to see how this sauce tastes with it. Uh, let's give it a try. All right, let's try it first without the sauce. Mm. So not like a pull apart stringy cheese. That's the inside. It's pretty good. I do like the flavors on around the outside of the cheese. The cheese itself, I'm not getting much like flavor out of. Very, very plain. So let's dip it into the sauce. But I really like those um, like Indian flavorings around the outside, very juicy. All right, let's try this sauce with it. Oh, that's right, it's like a ketchup. Ooh, a little tang, a little spice. I'm not like too spicy, not really at all, but I had like a little little something to it. That's actually good. This is very good. Okay. I actually that's really good. It has like with the with the ketchup all together that makes a huge difference. Because it definitely needed it for the cheese. Again, that outside with the crust, delicious, but the cheese was kind of like not that much to it, and so that ketchup really helps it a lot those two flavors base it's basically the flavors of the the outside crust and the ketchup together are phenomenal and then it's just like gooey cheese that's like warm on the inside that is delicious i recommend this one 100 percent if if you um if you are like looking for like a, a really like like something different than like normal like epcot cheese crawl stuff this is a great addition to the fromage montage Back on the fromage montage this year is the crispy barbecue pork rinds with pimento cheese that almost broke my tooth. I it was I couldn't believe how hard that was last year. 
I I thought I just couldn't believe it. It was like the t- I, I, I've eaten pork rinds. I eat pork rinds like if they're around. Like I don't go actively out for them, but I eat pork rinds. And I loved the pimento cheese. I thought it was very tasty. But those pork rinds literally hurt my teeth so bad. That was the worst thing I've ever eaten at a festival. I was so disappointed in those. Um, but I did like the pimento cheese. But for me, this was a hundred percent skip. Never get again. Ever. Ever. Ever in my lifetime. The Hawaii booth does not open until August 15th, but it is back on the fromage montage. Back again is that passion fruit cheesecake with toasted macadamia. I thought this was very delicious. I thought it was very light and very airy. It was a very different kind of cheesecake. I liked the flavor from the passion fruit. Overall, it was one of my favorites from last year. Definitely for a, uh, for a sweet option, it was very, very tasty. I very much enjoyed it. If you like a sweet option on this scavenger food crawl, uh, this is definitely a good option once it is available for you. Okay, I just got my redemption stamp. Had all five stamped. Now I got my redemption stamped here. Now it's time to get our prize. Here is the prize for Emile's Fromage Montage. It is the same as last year. It is a strawberry cheesecake Dole Whip, but I believe it is dairy, so it's not like real Dole Whip, it's like ice cream. Um, I remember it being very good. I love the cup. I still have mine from last year. It is not glass, it is hard plastic, but I love using this at home. I'm really glad to add this to my collection. Uh, now I have a matching set. <laughs> <laughs> and you can do this multiple times and you can again so you know you can get as many as you want um, and take multiple days to do this again so I'm so excited to try this and then bring my cup home all right let's eat our prize before it drips all over me mm. oh that's so good that is delicious and so refreshing because it's so hot mm. I love the strawberry. You can really taste that cheesecake flavor in the actual ice cream. And then I love the little, bo the little bit of cheesecake on the top. This is so good and I love the cup. I think it's so much fun. This is so much dairy. <laughs> There's so much dairy here. Um, but if you can handle it and you can, again, you don't have to do it all in one day. I mean, I love this prize. Mm. And I love cheese. I personally had a great time eating all this stuff and I love that I get to take home this cup and add it to my collection. And this strawberry cheesecake ice cream is amazing. That is so good. That is delicious. Very refreshing. Honestly, like I wish this was like part of the actual food crawl itself too. Though it, it honestly no actually no then it wouldn't be a satisfying prize. This is definitely a very satisfying prize really delicious i think um a really great prize and I, I again i love the cup i think it's so cute and it's it looks like it's glass and it's not what a fantastic time i think i personally had a fantastic time well my dudes that was emile's fromage montage 2022 at epcot's international food and wine festival and i have to say i am really happy with it this year i love having so many more options i really enjoyed the new um swiss cheese uh at the alps i thought that was delicious i think that was my favorite of the day for sure i really liked the india uh cheese that we had i thought that was delicious for from what i had last year i still love that corned beef from flavors of fire i love the uh noodles from uh from Germany those are definitely my tops for sure and I love the prize that we get at the end I think it's a delicious treat and I love the cup I think if you're if you're a cheese fan and you like that like cup at the end this is definitely something that I would consider doing it's a fun little game you don't have to do it all at once and I really like how they added way more options this year so it'd be you know five you know five items and a prize i think it's kind of fun i personally think this is the best year so far that i have done um of the scavenger hunt food crawl and i'm very happy with it so what do you think would you do this food crawl at this festival is this not for you is it too cheesy is it not cheesy enough because it's possible it could not be cheesy enough for you let me know all of it in the comments anyway thank you so much for watching if you did like the video please be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit your bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel and follow me on instagram at magical hijinks be sure to check out my patreon become a patron you'll get exclusive bonus content and you'll helping me to continue bringing you great content here on this channel and until next time my dudes i hope you guys get into some hijinks very very soon 
have a bye.